Today, the Pearl Mist from Pearl Seas Cruises pulled into Escanaba's North Shore Terminal for the second time this summer. Guests could choose from three different excursions to explore town or on their own. And TV6's Barbara Bellinger learns where cruises are from, uh, cruisers are from rather, and why Escanaba was chosen as a port of call. <laughs> The Escanaba City Band welcomed cruisers as the Pearl Mist pulled into port today. Oh, it's a I joy. They That's were what really I'm saying. Good. Yeah, and they, they were, were great. nice and loud. Yeah, uh, we and could the parents were well. all there. It was great. We watched yeah. them from the balcony. Guests on the ship came from across the U.S. State of Washington. We're from Southern Minnesota. Pennsylvania. Colorado. The 171 passengers embarked from Duluth, Minnesota, on June 29th. The cruise will end in Toronto, Ontario on July 13th. But today, cruise director Kristen Lambert says passengers got to make memories in Escanaba while supporting local businesses. A uh, highlight was Sakely's. Many guests bought tons of different chocolate and souvenirs to bring home. Cruisers could tour Escanaba and the Sandpoint Lighthouse, visit Fayette Historic State Park, or check out local churches. Captain George Chorton told me that the North Shore Marine Terminal in Escanaba is a great port of call for the Pearl Mist. Lambert agrees. It's a great port to do all the services that we need and that are required to cruise throughout this region. Lambert says guests also enjoy the port. The warmth that not only the guests but the crew felt as well from the locals. They were all so excited to welcome the Pearl Mist and the passengers. Lambert says the cruise line is definitely interested in continuing to stop in Escanaba for future Great Lakes cruises. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Escanaba.